I couldn't resist the unicorns. Sometimes we just spontaneously break out in song to serenade our cats. <laughs> She's just so cute. Okay. Look at this one. He looks so sweet and innocent, but he is not. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I saw your ear twitch. Anyway, I finished another, I finished two more books. So The Hero Two Doors Down by Sharon Robinson, who is the daughter of Jackie Robinson. Ah, this book made me so happy. Um, it's written on a fourth grade level and sometimes I don't get along with um, middle grades that are elementary um, level. Look, this is Jackie Robinson and his wife and oldest son. And then this is his wife here, Jack, Ra Rachel Robinson and the little main character, his mother. This is based on a true story. And oh, there he is. I just found it so just sweet. Oh, it's um, the little boy is growing up in a predominantly Jewish community in New York and Jackie Robinson moves in two doors down um, the first black family in that community and oh this is just so heartwarming and uplifting and gives you such an insight into this historical moment on just so many little threads of it I just loved it and I also finished, um, gotta look, I can never remember this name. I don't have the book. Um, How Not to Die Alone. I'm trying to figure out my Hobonichi here. I'm gonna make a planner video soon, I really am. Um, but yeah, that was also heartwarming. Oh, I got warm fuzzies from that one big time. Uh, and then, so, Five books finished. Today is the seventh. Um, so, is that right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I keep my finished books in his sleeping location. Um, so, doing well. I need to finish a couple more today. I did start Jane Austen, Persuasion. Britta Bowler and Nashua and I are reading this and so far so good delightful thus far i would say uh and i need to start i can't remember that one either um it's not in there we cast a shadow it's the black and white one with the like apples on the front i haven't started that yet so no comment no comment on that one yet but i'm reading that one with robert from Barter Hordes and Jacqueline from Six Minutes for Me and Kendra Winchester. So I think that will be a really interesting read. Uh, and, uh oh, I'm under 200 pages in Kristen Lovren's Daughter by Sigrid Unset. I am just so pleased with myself. I'm a day behind, but considering how long we've been going at this, that's not bad. Two days behind if I don't read today, but I'm going to read today. So this last book is really, really interesting. And I gotta figure out my game plan. I need to finish at least one book today. And I thought that I was gonna finish this one, which is the one I mentioned starting in February and laying aside, but I'm not sure I'm feeling motivated for this one. So, I may start something off that top shelf. Could read another um, one of those elementary books, or I'm kind of leaning toward the Miriam Taves. Women talking, I keep seeing Miriam Taves all over the place still, and I still haven't finished, I haven't started, I mean, 
so maybe that one. I'll keep you posted. Talking about you. You know that? Did you hear me? You don't want to talk about it? Oh my gosh, that's cute guy. No. Okay. Oh, that looks so much more comfortable. Good guy. <laughs> we got little blooms. It's a green passion flower. Pretty, pretty. Focus. There you go. All right. I finally got around to my May comments on booktube making progress and I got some videos watched while I was at it two birds with one stone I think that's a Sean the book maniac tag that I need to do <laughs> this is my month of catching up on um, booktube okay catching up on life I gotta say it's just really exciting to be starting a book that you know like you're absolutely positive you're gonna enjoy. It's just a really good feeling. And look, I've got my Reading Women bookmark. I think it's just perfect for this. So here we go. What are you doing up there, boo? Think you're a mountain goat? And do you know it's 5.52? It's not even six o'clock. Yourself. You never miss an opportunity with fresh laundry, do you, Guy? No. No, my Guy. Also, I guess I should do a little reading check-in, you know, since this is a reading vlog. I have read today. I am halfway through... We Cast a Shadow, I think it's called. Um, and it's gotten a lot better. I did not like it at all yesterday, the first five chapters. But today, I am totally on board. Well, not totally, but mostly on board. And um, what else am I reading? Oh, I started, um, I told you I started women talking and I thought I would have it done by now but you know I don't know not yet but it's good it's good okay back to back to what you were Ooh. doing do you think we're gonna get mail I think so look I couldn't resist ordering a new bead book thanks Patrice for the recommendation hot off the press today and I had to get How Not to Die Alone by Richard Roper because I really enjoyed reading it and it's gorgeous. Happy mail day. You want the box, boo? You want a box? Cat trap activated. <laughs> you are so predictable, boo. So, so predictable. You just can't resist a good box, can you? So I was looking around in my bullet journal for some tags I need to do and I stopped off at my reading through the ages bingo and realized I made bingo. Yay! And then these two are books that I'm fingers crossed going to finish today. Kristen Lovren's Daughter and we cast a shadow, so um, I need to go through my books I've finished this year and see if I've done any more and um, get up to date on this. So I'll see how I can do the second half of the year. Hey, it's Doris with All the Books, and I'm here to do the Dilemmas of a Book Nerd tag with my not so faithful assistant, Biddy Boo. <laughs> Anyway, 
Question number one, I'm just diving right in. Oh, Heidi from my, oh, let's just start over. All right, I'm a little bit behind. I've only read six books so far, uh, but I decided to do a little impromptu 24 and 48. And I've already read seven hours today. And I've gone to the gym and filmed a video. Go me. Wow. It's gonna be a good day. What, do you need a snack? <laughs> Why aren't you meowing now that the camera's on you? Hey, jerk. The midnight macaroni maker strikes again. Okay, no doubt this book based on a true story would make me very angry on any given day, but I'm feeling doubly irate after having just read um, the memoir, Eggshell Skull. Um, but the writing here is just really gorgeous. Ona Friesen once again glances at me inquisitively, or perhaps she is curious at the notion of a breather, which likely is not a word she has ever heard before, even in translation or at the notion of the sustained breath, the exquisite agony of the unexpressed thought, the narrative of life, the thread that binds, that knots, that holds, a breather, breath, sustained, the narrative. So good so far. I'm gonna finish it today. We are women without a voice, Ona states calmly. We are women out of time and place, without even the language of the country we reside in. We are Mennonites without a homeland. We have nothing to return to, and even the animals of Malachna are safer in their homes than we women are. All we women have are our dreams, so of course we are dreamers. But I spy a boo baby. <laughs> boo baby! Boo baby! You're so cute. This one is Daryl. Yes, he is. Yes. Hi, hey, baby. What you doing? What? <laughs>